What's good, players and pimps? Hoes and simps. What's poppin'? Now, today we're gonna talk about how to know if a woman view you as a player, motherfucker. And when a woman view you as a player, all that really means is she views you as pre-selected. And if a woman view you as a player, you can get away with more shit. You know what? Let me rephrase that. You can get away with shit that a simp couldn't get away with. For example, if a simp take a bitch out to dinner, she gonna think, he just trying to impress me. But if a player do that same exact shit, she gonna think, he's so romantic. This bitch is dumb, man. If a woman is trying to please you, she views you as a fucking player. Simps try to please women because simps need the approval of women. You're trying to get approval from somebody else. You are now in your feminine energy. This shit's not attractive. Women only see two type of men. Players and simps. Alpha males and beta males. The minute you open your fucking mouth, they instinctively know if you are a player or a fucking simp. And instinctively means that they know without even having to fucking think about it. Women are hardwired to find alpha males and players and all that other shit. And because in today's age, it's so fucking rare. And on top of that, that they've been around enough betas to know what a fucking alpha male is, it's very easy for them to know who's an alpha male and who's a fucking beta male. And that number one tail is gonna be your fucking body language, man. And I did a video on this shit. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put it down below in the description. And when a woman is trying to please you, she will make sure that she does shit that doesn't piss you off. For an example, she will show up on the date one time. It wouldn't take her ass five fucking hours to text you back. She would text you back fairly fast. And I want y'all to know something. Players, alpha males, high value men, beta males, simps, are all state of minds. That's it. It's all about how you look at yourself and how you behave. The number one way I used to get bitches to look at me as a player was always trying to find a way how to bring up sex without being creepy. And the reason why I do that shit is because I already know. Because the beta males and simps, they try their hardest not to ever bring up sex. They actually like to veer away from conversations like that. Like they put these bitches so much on the fucking pedestal. They honestly believe that these bitches don't like sex as much as we do. Bitches love sex just as much as we do, but only with men that they perceive as higher value than them. Now, how do I bring up sex without being creepy? Now, for an example, say she asked me a question like, what are your hobbies? Me being who the fuck I am, I would say something like, my hobbies? Shit, I like to have romantic sex. I like to go bike riding. I like to go to the weight room. Now, you see how I brought up sex, but I kept it rolling? When you bring up sex, you bring it up as it's no fucking big deal. Like, it's just it's just sex. And also, once I say it, I never come back to it unless she come back to it. So now she knows she can't put me in that simp category because I was already bold enough to even say some shit about sex. And I don't give a fuck if I turn the bitch off. Fuck that bitch. When you able to talk to a woman and not walk on eggshells and be able to bring up conversations like sex, you are a breath of fresh fucking air for her. Why? Because born as simp ass beta males talk about everything but sex. And if they do talk about sex, they do it in a creepy ass fucking way. Like the beta male or the simp, he'll say something about sex and he'll keep talking about it and just keep bringing it up and just fucking overdoing it. You don't do that shit. You say it one time, you show her that you are a sexual being, and unless she brings it back up, then y'all can talk about it. I actually remember the first time I started saying sexual shit to women, and I was in college. So my one homie, he had a girl come over to his dorm. So I introduced myself, and we had a little conversation and shit, making, making basically small talk. And then I asked her, you got any friends that's freaks? Because I'm a fucking freak, so I need a, I need a freak. Long story short, three days later, I get her friend and I fuck the shit out of her. Back then, my simp ass would have never, ever said no shit about no fucking sex. I literally thought back then that if I brought up sex, that I would offend a bitch. And the thought of that scared the shit out of me. Now, no more, motherfucker. Did you know that women would rather share a player with mad women than to be in a monogamous relationship with a simp or a beta male? Shit's crazy, man. And shit, to be honest with you, I would rather deal with a thought ass bad bitch than to deal with a big ass, fat ass, ugly ass woman. So I can honestly understand why a bitch would want to deal with an ain't shit nigga like me.
Which brings me to my next topic. If she views you as a player, she will chase you. All chasing really mean is that somebody is chasing somebody else's validation. She double texts you. She calls you out of the fucking blue. She actually wants to make conversation all the fucking time and yap her mouth. She's almost fucking annoying. Bitch, open you the fucking door. You don't get your ass door. away from here. I'm gonna call the police. I, no, not, not that type of annoying. Stay your ass completely the fuck away from those type of bitches. But yo, man, I'm out, man. This your boy Playboy Zay, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Deuces.